What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. It's Shane with Fedboy99 Productions and well, welcome to 2021. But unfortunately, it's not the greatest with the Crown Vicks. Mine's out of commission for a little while and I'll explain that one in another video. But right now I'm in the wife's Crown Vic and took it to the store the other day. Don't mind the beeping. And it started acting rough, riding rough, driving rough. And then I got the flashing check engine light and now a solid check engine light. So we're gonna run to the auto store, get the code red, see what's going on. I think I have an idea as to what it is. All right guys, so got the auto zone and got the reader. I'll reach down here see down here we're gonna plug it up right in there let it read let's say we got one code I'll take it back inside see what it is and i'll let you know all right guys i got the code read and it was p0308 which is a misfire on your engine and the P0308 would be cylinder eight down here. You can see, coils down in there, everything. So I'm gonna replace the coil. It could be either the coil or the spark plug, but first I'm gonna start off by uh, showing you what I got. I picked up a coil and a spark plug. You know, I was gonna go ahead and do Excel all the way around and new spark plugs, but you can't get a set of eight excels locally all eight they usually carry maybe one or two so that's no good and i didn't want to wait till like the 18th to get them so yeah so i'm going to show you what we'll start off with first changing this so here we go so all you're going to need is an eight millimeter to disconnect your battery if yours is like my battery terminals over here this is actually my wife's car and you're also going to need a 7 mil for taking off the coil pack. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery. I'm going to do the negative. Just unscrew it real quick. Place it out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and get to the coil pack. Put in the new one. And hopefully that fixes everything. So just grab your battery. Took it out of the way so it doesn't hit. And there we go, move on to the coil. All right guys, so as you can see down in here, there's the coil. We're gonna disconnect the uh, wiring harness from it. It's just a little tab underneath. Pull it right off, just like so. Now you can remove a lot of stuff and get it all out of the way. Sometimes the fuel rail is kind of in the way with it, but you should be able to get it off with no problem. As long as you have a socket that you can get in there, loosen up the bolt, get it off. All right, once it's bolts fairly loose, you should be able to uh, just hand loosen the rest of the bolt out of the way and pull it out the way. Make sure your car is kind of cool when you do this. I just got home, so it's still a little warm, but it's not too, it's not burning or anything like that. Pull this coil out, take a look at it, and see what it looks like. All right. All right, so this is the coil that's probably bad. I'm gonna go with the coil on it. This happened to my Crown Vic. One of the coils went bad, it wasn't spark plug. I changed the spark plugs, all of them, but happened to be just the uh, one of the coils on mine. So I'm hoping it's just the coil on here. Sorry about the plane, but there's a little bit of oil on it, but hopefully everything's all right. If not, I'll have to change out the spark plug and we'll go from there. It's just as simple. Slide it back in down in there the 
this one is a little tricky because it is towards the back so it might be a little tough to get in place but a little finesse and you should be able to get it in place all right once you get it in go ahead and reinsert your bolt get it started and hand tightened a little bit and plug back up your wiring harness and then we'll go from there see if it fixes everything All right, once you got your coil in, make sure you reconnect your battery, tighten it down, go inside your car, start it up, see what happens. All right, so right now I don't have the check engine light, but it still seems like it might be a little rough. So it might still be the spark plug. So I'm gonna take it for a little spin, see if the check engine light comes back in. If it does, we're gonna have to change the spark plug. So bear with me and let's see what happens. All right, so I took the car around the block. No check engine light came back on. Seems fine, no misfiring, no, you know, bucking. That's kind of one of the symptoms you'll feel. You'll feel bucking if it's, you know, misfiring you know a little sputter so it looks like just the coil was the issue so we look all right here i'm gonna park this and we'll talk about it all right guys so it looks like that took care of everything i'm glad i'm gonna monitor it over the next couple days while i drive it to work and everything make sure it's running fine doesn't throw the check engine light again and hopefully that took care of the problem so like i said coil pack you're going to feel bumping, kind of like a chatter. Car will run rough. You could drive it. I probably want it too much, but you got a quick little fix. You can go to AutoZone, get a coil for like 35 bucks, you know, pop it in, see if that takes care of it. If not, it's going to be your spark plug. So there you go. But that's going to be probably about it. But look forward to showing you an install video on my Crown Vic. It's down right now. Let's just say I got to replace some gaskets on the valve cover because it's leaking oil and it's not running right and it's leaking a lot of oil out of it. So this is Fedboy99 Productions and I'll catch you guys in the next one.